I mean, I think it's now understood very well how the current system are captured. Even though they are trying to be somewhat decentralized, you could say democracy is decentralized, is decentralized but actually people have captured the seats. And the only way to uncapture that is if the, in the next step society, the economic power, the, the, the center of gravity or the mass where the mass is in terms of economic power would be held by large networks and not by centralized authorities of any kind. Because large networks, in their nature, they take into account for wider interest, for wider incentives. They are less capturable. So I've not, now I really see that as a necessity. Like it's not just any any longer a bonus that we may increase the potential of humanity. I actually think that's the only thing that will, you know, in a way, free us from the the train that is now ru- running off the cliff. And I think every year is just accelerating. And, and of course, there is much, much more theory about our this acceleration, this running off of the cliff. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that more because I think there are, there are people who are, you know, teaching about that much better. I'm just learning from them. And I think by now there is quite a consensus that the only logical solution to that is, is a large scale coordination. And I, I want to add something to this because in some way, like, I think it's also the, the institutional structure that we use is, is very delicate. Is like is very important in the sense that the core problem is like how do you achieve collective action, and and it's not that it's not that we haven't tried right. It's like we have companies, we have organizations, we have governments. Those are all created in order to actually achieve collective action, and the challenge though is that many times when you create those institutions, then the institution become this kind of alien being which which actually brings people to do things that they will never do otherwise. 